All right, for the mix, every morning in our morning meeting, we have this young lady, Catherine, that comes down and she tells us which stories are in the mix. Yes. And then we love our Katie. And then we raise our hand and see which one we want to do. Yeah. As soon as she said this story, I raised my hand and <laughs> That's said, That's true. This one's mine. Uh, and this story is about <laughs> ways to open the bottle of beer if you don't have a bottle opener. Yeah. I have done most of these probably. What can you really do with your hands? But look at this, you could do it. I think they use a penny there. I don't know what they're using. That's a is that, that a urinal? That's a urinal. Oh, that's so gross. That, this, this, it's a mint bath. Oh, gross. Uh, what is that there? I can't tell what that one is. Oh, water cooler, I'm told, right there. But you have so many options. An eyelash curler, give me a break. Yes, there's so many options. You can use your key, oh. you can use the edge of a table. I've done that out in public before. But this is based <laughs> on a book, 99 Ways to Open a Beer Bottle. But Master will put this video together to show you these interesting ways to open that beer. They are interesting, just in time for Super Bowl. Got to get in there. Oh, speaking of uh, sporting events, the NHL teaming up with GoPro to give you these exclusive special shots. Bunch of NHL players. Uh, took to a new work at the New Jersey Devils practice field to show you these kind of cool images on the oh, ice wow. from all different teams and it looks pretty cool doesn't it? it it gives you a different vantage point when you're wearing that the, the camera you know, I wonder if at some point they'll try to find a way to incorporate this into games I wonder That's if they'll try that. to find a way to incorporate it into the newscast live broadcast like World News Can Now you imagine Could you imagine wearing a GoPro <laughs> on your head right seeing now. what what our hard-working team of producers and writers are doing right now? Okay. Yeah, our floor director is seated as we speak. <laughs> oh, now he's getting up. Now Noel's getting up. <laughs> uh, next up here, a guy who is uh, really into cats. Uh, so much so that he has pretty much uh, renovated his home for cats. Oh my See goodness. This, here? He takes in, this is out in California, Galita, California. Ooh. The man uh, by the name of Peter Cohen, he built this home. You can see it has all these walkways, they call them catwalks or whatever you, you will. Tunnels, ramps, you name it. He spent about 40 to 50 grand putting this together. So he takes in these stray cats and uh, rescue cats and makes a home for them that they can have a good time with. But it's an interesting really? picture. He calls it a work of art. Wow, it is a work of art. I wouldn't mind staying there. <laughs> <Really? laughs> okay. <laughs> Meet Rufus, a pharaoh hound. His owner, just as wacky as me, <laughs> likes to take photos of him while he's sleeping uh, oh, with oh cute goodness. props. Oh Look my at that. Goodness. The dog doesn't wake up through all this. The dog apparently doesn't wake up as she's putting in these props, and it's Sarah Redmark. She's a dogger, blogger, a dog blogger, actress, and model. And she has him posing these cute props. Dog blogger. Adorable.